but a lot of people are praying for a quick and safe recovery. Community activists are even coming together from all across the upstate, dropping their plans to come together and support the victims of this shooting. This comes at a time when our nation is, as you can imagine, already fragile and really hurting. Many of them saying enough is enough. I want to thank everyone for coming out this evening. Uh, but honestly, I wish I didn't have to see any of you. I am personally tired of senseless violence in our community. I'm tired of innocent lives being lost at the hands of people who have no regard for their actions. I'm tired of having to hold vigils. I'm tired of seeing mothers cry, of seeing children cry. I'm tired of families being broken up and for us treating each other like enemies rather than the people and the humans that we are. I'm tired of us not looking at each other and not recognizing one another's humanity, not realizing that behind the eyes looking back at us is a, is a full person. It's a person who's loved. It's a person whose family told them to be safe when they left. It's a person whose family is never gonna see them again. I'm tired, Greenville. And community activists were out all day speaking for justice and change. We spoke to a lot of them out here. They stayed out all day, all wanting to bring healing to those who are hurt and traumatized, speaking to these families who are trying to go through and navigate so much pain right now. But my message to anyone, if you got to take a gun with you to a nightclub or a sports bar, you need to stay at home. We're going to be working um, with the sheriff's office, the governor's office. Uh, I've already talked to several members of council uh, to make sure that these types of facilities are not open to the public or not open, period, and that people can go to bed at night feeling comfortable that they won't get awakened by calls at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning about another tragedy. A club will say, well, we're not really a bar and we're not doing alcohol, and then we have not once but twice in two days we have shootings right here where we're standing. Now the uh, Lavish Lounge posted this after the shooting on Facebook saying future events have been postponed until further notice. They also commented saying they thanked everyone for their concern. As of tonight, no updates on their page in this post and the comments have been removed. Now we did talk to a man who said he was working in the club last night. He said this was not supposed to be this way and they have video surveillance that the sheriff's office has been going through over the last several hours.